Apple just recently announced a new product that's going to change the world. And the Vision Pro is the next leap into the future. This is not just a VR headset. It's a computer with the most intuitive and seamless UI integration that I have ever seen in my life. And as I'm sitting there and I'm watching this unveiling of the Vision Pro, I saw the future of filmmaking completely change before my eyes. So first I wanna take you guys back to November 2014 to take a look at the movie, The Hunger Games. And yes, the Hollywood feature film starring Jennifer Lawrence. But let's take a look at this scene right here. Cadmus, what do you wanna say? Stop for a second. In this movie, this dude right here is filming this scene using this device that's attached to his head. And I thought to myself almost 10 years ago, can you imagine what it would be like if you could actually film and instead of having a whole camera rig, it could just be right here on your face and you could film and pinpoint whatever shot that you wanted exactly the way you wanted it to be seen because it's coming right from your eyes. Now fast forward almost 10 years later and guess what? The future is now. Now before we jump into this video, I just want to let you guys know that we are doing a giveaway for a Comica wireless shotgun microphone. All you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel and comment down below, can you hear me now? You'll be eligible to win this shotgun microphone, no strings attached. Now let's just take a second and think about what this product actually is. It's essentially a computer with an M2 chip inside its own Wi-Fi connection, 4K OLED display for each eye. It has speakers on the side above each ear. And then it has this really awesome R1 chip, which is responsible for all the real-time processing that you're seeing. Now, what makes this completely different from VR headsets is a few things. There are no controls. You control Vision Pro entirely with your eyes, hands, and with your words. And hold up because this is where it gets interesting. You have a total of two forward-facing cameras, two downward-facing cameras, another two cameras on the sides, two infrared illuminators, and a LiDAR scanner, which is actually huge, and a true depth camera. And all of this is to help keep track of the world around you while delivering this UI that's actually in real time and showcasing in the world around you. The way you control this computer is insane. You control it by using your fingertips. Just with the touch of your finger, you can open up windows, you could scroll just by using your fingers. And probably the most impressive thing is the fact that it detects your eyes. So anytime you look at something, it actually detects what app you're going to or whatever it is that you're looking at, it understands exactly what you're looking at because it scans where your eyes are placed in this UI world, which is extremely impressive, but also extremely scary at the same time. And when you think about all of this and being able to bring the world of technology and integrating it with the world around us, my question is, do you actually see it yet? Can you see the world of possibility this brings. This has the ability to capture the way you see real life in real time just by the click of a button. And you can capture a moment and play it back as if you were right in that moment in time again. This is where my mind went nuts. Imagine if you had an app that could emulate any camera on the planet and you could film a scene and capture it perfectly exactly the way you see it. Because remember, you control this device by using your eyes. So there's never gonna be a situation where you miss focus. You're gonna be able to nail focus and the way you wanna see that shot every single time. And then because you have the power of a computer, not just a camera, but the power of a computer, you could simultaneously film and edit footage at the same time. You could be filming over here and then look to the left of you and you could see your entire editing software with your timeline and you could cut something up, see how a scene plays out and know if it works. And if it doesn't, you just film it right here again. Like, take it again. Okay, take two seconds. Boom, bring the footage over here. What works, what doesn't. Cut out what doesn't work, put in what does. I mean, it's absolutely insane. But that's actually just the beginning. Imagine dialing in real time color correction and color grading as you're filming. Just by swiping left and right, you could figure out what look and what LUT you want in real time. You don't have a LUT or you don't have a look that you're going for, you could use AI. You could punch in AI and say, AI, give me this LUT. Or you could go right online just by pressing a little button right there, boom, buy a LUT, put it on your footage, and there you go in real time. Like everything is gonna be able to happen instantaneously. Then this actually opens the door to a whole nother world. Imagine the ability to take reference photos and hold them right up to the shot that you're looking at and being able to match composition, lighting, color, 
just by the click of a button. That's huge. That's crazy. That's like, that's game changing. I mean, I know that we can do that now. I know that we can take a photo, look at something, see the reference and match it up to our camera and go, oh, that's pretty close. But imagine you could take the photo, put it in the UI and then have that right here. And, and because it's able to talk to each other and it's looking at the real world shot that you're looking at right now, it could just match the look and the feel and even tell you things like where to place the lights or how to color something or where to place the camera. I mean, there's, there's so many different possibilities there. And then let's take that a step further. Imagine not even having to scout a location because you receive a 360 degree scan of a, of a location and you can start manipulating how you want the set to look with the lighting and the set design and the props and even adding characters in the frame before you even get to set and then saving it on the app. That way, when you actually do get there, you know exactly where everything needs to be placed. You could actually film on location completely remote. If you have a crew and they're there, you could direct and produce something just by putting this thing on. Now, let's take a second and just talk about the basics of camera gear. Guess what? Eventually, it's gonna become relevant. Because you have a computer, a computer, that can film something. Eventually you're gonna be able to emulate any kind of film look you want using any camera or any lens just with an app by swiping back and forth. Imagine you have a specific camera in mind or a specific lens in mind. And imagine you go on the app and you're like, let's do that, boom, okay, that looks pretty good. Mm, maybe let's try this lens, okay. Maybe let's try this camera. Boom, it's all right there for you. The idea of having a computer that has these cameras that could film something, it's just a matter of time before they figure that out and camera gear becomes irrelevant. And the exciting part about that is, is that it'll kind of level the playing field. And if you own this Vision Pro, you don't need lenses, you don't need a camera, you don't, you might not even need lights or a crew. Like you might be able to tell a story as an independent filmmaker just by putting this thing on and, and really getting exactly what your vision is and not having the limitations of finances and a crew or even where you're at in the world. Like you could be at home and shoot something on set of somewhere else. Like it's crazy to think of. Now I already know that the comments are gonna be flooded with a bunch of you guys saying, no way that would never happen or I would never do something like this or I would never give up my camera or the craft of filmmaking. But I just wanna say maybe 30 years ago, uh, when they started introducing digital cameras into the world of filmmaking, um, I bet you a lot of people were like, yeah, no, I wanna stick with film. Like, why would I ever get away from film? Digital doesn't look good. It doesn't look real. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't do all of these things that a, a film camera can do. And there are purists out there today that are all about using a film camera. And while I would say, you know, more power to you, that's awesome. Using digital definitely speeds up the process. And while I love the look of real film, don't get me wrong, I really do love the look of real film. And while I do think that using a camera and being able to have that kind of skill is always gonna be useful, this is just the first generation. Give it some time and I guarantee you, you're gonna change your mind about that because having the ability to have any camera you want or any lens that you want or any look that you want in the palm of your hand is going to be crazy and it's going to get better and better and better and better and right now this is all speculation this is all just me thinking out loud but i'm telling you this is going to be the future of filmmaking i'm telling you right now this is it now these are all positive things that i think the vision pro are going to bring to the filmmaking community and also the world, but there are some obvious negative aspects as well. As if we're not already glued to technology enough, and especially with this new generation where I see kids on their iPads at dinner tables and they're constantly on their phones, and if they're not on their phones, they're on a video game or whatever it is, it's, it's becoming, at this point, an addiction. And I think that having a screen right here in your face integrated into real life is just gonna further that addiction into humanity. And, and I can imagine because this is not just a computer or a laptop, it is something that you could wear and you could still walk around and you could still talk to people and you're still in real life, only there's this giant screen on your face 
and there's the whole UI being integrated into real life. So I can imagine how people are gonna get addicted to it. And I also can imagine how bad this is gonna affect our society with a bunch of people just walking around with this big block on their face. I can imagine that that's gonna negatively affect our society. Do we really wanna see a world where people are walking around with this thing on their faces all day and you go to a you go on a vacation or you go to a really awesome destination, instead of people filming it on their phones, they got this thing on their face and they're not even really in real life anymore. They're in this like augmented reality that is enhanced. And while I think it's super cool in a lot of ways, and I think that it, it can really help so many different professions, not just filmmaking, but it can help so many different professions. It also opens the door for us to go deeper down that technological rabbit hole where we're getting stuck and addicted to a technology that we can't live without. But obviously this is just my opinion. Um, if you guys want to talk about it, debate it, let's talk about it in the comments. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you think that I'm crazy and this would never happen, or maybe you think that it's true and maybe there's some things that you want to add to what I have said, or maybe there's some new ideas that you have. Thank you guys for stopping in and watching this video about this really new and exciting product. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.